one. Welcome back to The Great Debate, guys. You are here with Uma B and Poppy Black Rob, the co-hosts of The Great Debate Show. And we have our special guest with us here today, uh, Collecting Your Two Cents, AKA Benjamin and Artman, the host of The Fake Facts Show here on Plenty of Fish. If you ever wanna join us, please feel free to download the Plenty of Fish app, come to live streams, and you could search for all of our names, click favorite on us, and then when we stream, you get to join in as well. So Rob, I'm almost afraid to ask you, <laughs> what is the last topic that you are rounding us out with? Everybody hold their breath, because we know it's going to be something crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last topic of the night is, do we feel that we are so, we are in such seeking, uh, such desire of being famous that we do not know how to interact with uh in a relationship you, and you need a minute i'll put it to you this way i had another one but i had another one that fit the theme but i was like when i got kicked out two times i was like oh let me get another one up <laughs> so here's the question here's the question real quick so like here's the thing here i'm gonna give you a scenario so like let me put it to you this way okay are we so internet hungry that in dating it's our it's our objective to film everything as opposed to getting to know one another are we choosing we, I, 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 over sincere connections yes i think the younger generation are i think the younger generation are um it's hard for me to see um i'm gen x and it's hard for me to see the baby boomers and the Gen X people actually doing that. But remember, the millennials develop the selfie. All right. Thank you, millennials. <laughs> and millennials <laughs> develop that whole thing about posting your food on Instagram and taking pictures and all these locals and places you, you go to. So um, I think it is true, but I think it's more for the younger generation. What do you guys think? Definitely Michelle, for the younger. It doesn't count if you don't take a picture. It doesn't exist. <laughs> definitely, definitely for the younger generation. So for for me, there are there are a lot of beautiful women, actresses, stuff like that. Like, and if, if I were to meet any of them, right, I could I could go and say hello to someone, meet them, and I could be infatuated with them, right, and love them like that. But I I know at no point can I have a a real relationship with that person until you get to know someone. You can't just. You can't just say, wow, you know, they're, they're great on screen. I'm sure they're like this in real life because people aren't like this in real life. They're not like for me, I, I can talk. I can talk like this. There's there's a little difference in this. I, I don't always talk like all professional and stuff kind of anyway. Right. But I want to I want to be able to I want to be able to have a relationship with someone and talk with them how I want to talk with them, not how people see them on the screen never meet your heroes where was that said that's an interesting quote never meet your hero that's in alignment with what you were just saying art man never meet your mm -hmm. heroes so what do you think about this trend of um ladies going out on dates exposing men uh for not being traditional but at the same time they're whipping their cameras out to film everything i think anytime Let's take it down to the basics of it. Anytime the intent is to hurt, harm, embarrass, humiliate another person, it's not good, regardless of what you do or how you do it, right? It comes down to your intent. Um, I try to, you know, the way I live my life is I want to leave this planet not creating any more bad karma, but maybe doing so much good that it, it, it wipes out any bad karma that I've mistakenly created along the way. There are unfortunately people that purposely do things for a negative reason, you know, and I, I can't understand the mentality of that. I, I just feel those people have some serious brokenness to want to do that, to inflict pain on other people. Like the trolls we see here on streams, there, there has to be some brokenness because that's not the human spirit at all to want to create that. The I think the social, I think the social media or the internet itself and like what we see in media has made it more clout chasers and attention seekers, whether good or bad, whether they're tearing someone else down or they're building themselves up. Any attention to them seems to be good attention because it gets the views, it gets the shares. And of course that builds their platform. And that's 
their whole objective to get the cloud or the chain, the, the attention. So when they go out on those dates, as y'all were saying, they want to post or they get a new purse or a bag or they go shopping here, they got to show the whole world to tear some down, you know, that they want to, of course, you know, tear down and to put themselves up on a pedestal. And it wasn't like that before when we just had AOL instant messenger and fucking just like MySpace came around and shit like that. You know what I mean? We snake was the only thing we could do on our phones. You know, we text message and that was it. You know what I mean? You wasn't sending no fucking selfies, you know, or taking any <laughs> and, and and relationships were better then. And people actually, you know, talked and communicated, got to know each other. And you know, I see people on dates now or even out and, both people are just like this the whole time and it's like how are you even sitting at dinner or lunch together and you're you haven't spoken to each other not one time you know well you know like it depends because my man and i do that i'll be honest we do that if we go out to eat we're both whipping out our phones but it's funny because when you well for me right when you live with someone you find pockets through the day to have these conversations with your person Right. Yeah. So it's like we don't have to wait to sit down at a meal to talk to each other because we're talking throughout text right. on the phone when we drive to work together. Thank you. When we drive to work together, we are, you know, like we're always talking and, and sharing how we feel. So when we do sit down, it's kind of like, OK, we now have a minute to check our, our socials because remember, we're both social media personalities and check and see what's going on. But I do hear what you're saying. There are people who really no. don't know how to have a conversation to each other most definitely people in relationships are married understood because you spend all day and every day but i mean the first daters or second date or you like you're still right. getting to know that person you guys are still courting and you know like you're scrolling Absolutely. while you're you know dating or you know out and it's, it just doesn't make sense to me i feel i feel i feel uma sitting down at the at the restaurant sitting next to uh next to a rose sitting there and they're like having their own conversations back and forth instead of talking back. Like, hey, what's up? You know, hey, how was your day? They're like. <laughs> <laughs> so someone made a someone made a very good comment. Uh, I guess uh, three three lead the dawn. Social media took children away to learn from what we learned in history. Oh, and that is, I totally agree. Yeah, social media. You know, there's a lot of conversations about is social media the devil. Is that the devil's toolbox? You know, um, it's hard for me to accept because I am a social media personality and I love doing these shows. I feel, I feel you can use social media for bad and you can use it for good. I hope that you guys get educated and you enjoy, you know, the conversations we create in the Lotus Lounge. But um, there are some people that definitely use it for for worse reasons. Absolutely. Question: Do do you consider um, is your line of work? Uh considered like a like are you a medium or a medium uh, would you consider that a medium what you do uh that is one of the jobs i do i am a psychic medium yes but my right. main job uh, is, you know i'm the ceo of a metaphysical center so i teach classes and i offer services okay, yes, okay. and with that the medium uh that's like uh or the media that's like a medium in between like you're the go-to in between like what's going on here in the realm that someone can't help, like someone else can't access. And then the other person that you are, you know, relaying that information yeah, to, it's no different. After I, the show and we, we could talk more about it. I don't no, I was, no, I, I was, no, I was not to get off topic, but like, I imagine that's what our media is. It's like the middle ground, like, and it's up to that person. Like I, I seen one of your lives where you were explaining like, some people don't practice the right, you know, you couldn't speak right. on how they do. So what if we're getting information from a media that's not giving us the correct information that they're receiving, oh, you know? What so. we've learned with them, like there's so many shows. Um, has anybody ever seen uh, that, that show about the really rich uh, family that owns media? Um, what was the name of that show? Succession? <laughs> Succession. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's whatever it's whatever whoever holds the most money get to direct what is shown to the rest of us it's, it really and truly comes down to that there is a small group of people that's controlling the knowledge that's being shared and that's why people like me we fight the system we fight the matrix by reminding people you don't need to know what's going on outside you need to know what's going on inside and once you learn how to tap in and understand the inner world of yourself 
you can understand the outer world, you know? So we, a lot of us in the spiritual community, we don't watch the news. We don't watch TV because we are able to understand things better. Self-awareness. Yeah. So, so Uma, uh, be, being a medium and stuff, right? And, and I understand that and I appreciate everything I do, seriously. The, the, so I'm not sticking up for anyone, but the good thing I like about social media, look how many more people you can reach out to right now with social media. With right? positive so, message. You, you, you're absolutely positive in everything that you do. 100% positive in everything that you do. You can reach out to so many more people right now due to this social media thing, rather than just the, the maybe the, the dozens or hundreds of people that you have close to you in that net area. Now you can reach out to thousands. So, I mean, it's not all bad thing. It's not all bad. Social media isn't always bad, but it's great. It's, your, it's, it's like I said earlier, it's your intention. I have changed so many lives. Just today we had, um, I'm going to mention her again, you know, um, Stargazer, if you're in here, she jumped in my box and she said, Uma, I just need to let you know, because not, not a lot of people were in the room already. And she said, I just need to let you know. I, I, she never came in my box. And she said, I've been following you for years. I didn't even know. She said, I follow you on all your social media platforms. And she said, I love what you say. Every time you talk, it's something that I need to hear. It's something that reminds me to be a better person. And she said, I don't have money to gift you. I'm a single mom. And she said, but I just wanted to let you know that you mean a lot to me and I'm always here and I'm always listening and you've changed my life. And that meant a lot more to me than the actual diamonds that we, that we get, you know, and, um, you, you can use this for positive. So I know for a fact that I do change, I do change lives by, by using social media. And that's why I say most of us got to just do better. Hi, wisdom. Welcome. And just want to let you know, we are recording to YouTube. So please keep it classy. And whatever you say. <laughs> but, she, but, she, but, she yes. fell down. She's like, okay, I I'll take one. I must leave. Next up. So, I'll be right back. <laughs> Hold on one second. Let me put this out. Ugh. Okay. Um. So you know what? What you? I was. I was talking to Nina earlier, and you know, I gave you. I, I gave you a title. I said I'm gonna call you Ate if that's okay. And Ate, you you guys will see me write it on the on, on the chat box a lot. Ate is a is something that, like, okay, like a woman of like a, an older woman, right? Like an older, older than me that would influence me. That has a, like kind of like. A, like a mentor even like an older sister is what it means and um and and what i call it, lena that too so i was talking to nina earlier i was like you know you haven't gone it's okay it's Uma's, i found uma <laughs> she was like and um and when that young lady i was here for that when the young lady had said um you know what you meant to to, to her and honestly yeah. you 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 mean so much an example when you know it's crazy you can measure how much you mean or what you are, what you, what your value is to someone when they speak about you when you're not in the room, Very right? True. And 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 like and the thing is that one incident where you were like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is what's happening, you know, with, with with that situation in the other lives, and I was like, you know, Uma Uma had spoken up for me, and um and and honestly, that didn't go anywhere. Um, it, it was. It was that in her advice to me it was not being messy she was like you know what stay where you are don't do come in here I, I got right, it right right yeah. she said she got me and then like and i was like you know the the cancer the fire in me like you know what <laughs> hold so my earrings I was, in a, I was in a very i'm not going to name it because we're recording but basically we were in a very popular stream on here and um a, a person got in the box talking negatively about wisdom and the whole room started, you know, was believing this person because wisdom wasn't there to defend herself. So they were all jumping on wisdom and people were reaching her to tell her to come into the stream and, you know, and all of this. And I told her, I said, don't come into this room. All you do, I said, do not come into this room. I got you. And then I started writing everything that person said, I was matching it. I was matching energy with that person. And once the host of the show, saw that I was standing up for this person. This is, this is why I tell you, your reputation means everything. Once the host saw what I was writing, the host decided to dead it and said, this is not something to, to follow through with. And once the host edited it, everybody deaded it. And then they started actually turning on the girl. Now that's why I tell you guys, you have power in your reputation. You have power in your energy. 
we didn't need to have her come in to fight this out and for it to get nasty. All we needed was somebody of good value that is respected, well-respected to say a good few kind words about this person. Because all I said is I know, I know wisdom and she's a pretty cool person. That's all I had to say. And everybody indebted it. And that's why I say to you guys, you, you gotta, you know, my aunt told me this when I was a young girl. She said, as you grow, you have to imagine you're walking, like your life is like you're walking in snow. Every footprint you make will show. And I, I learned Ooh, that at 16 years old. And it, it really, in a way, it kind of groomed me for social media because I'm always aware. And I told, I told Wisdom this as a new streamer. I said, no matter if you have two people in the room or you feel it's just you and uh, you and collecting talking, but you have 40 people in the room, always imagine there's ca cameras on you and there's a recorder on you always, always. So, I mean, um, because of that, I have been less, have been minus a little, I'm diet ratchet. I'm right now, I'm, di <laughs> I'm like, di ratchet light. Diet ratchet. <laughs> I mean, not that I'm ratchet, but like, I, I literally, I literally Real quick, I just want to end the, the <laughs> recording on YouTube um, so we can continue conversations. So YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these four segments of the great debate tonight. And don't forget, we will be here every Thursday. And for anybody here on streams that want to see the, uh, these four segments that we recorded, I will be forming a new tab on my YouTube channel, and it's just going to be called the great debate. And that's where I'm going to be storing all of these videos so you guys can access them.